Hey guys and welcome to the new video for Simply Fit, how to clean and maintain your barbell. Here's a list of the stuff you'll need, some WD-40, a nylon bristled brush, some 3-in-1 oil, some circlip plies, a hook and a pick and some spare rags. And of course the manliest gloves you can find. So you can see this bar is the one I've done a review on. It's got brass bushings and as I'm trying to spin it, it's a bit of resistance. It should spin a bit more freely than what it is now. So guys, this is my Xpeed P-Series Olympic barbell. Finished in black oxide. So that's a process where the bar is immersed into a bath of hot chemicals to blacken the bar and then the oil is applied to it to seal in the oxide. It gives the, a really good feel, like a natural feel to the bar, so it's like a bare steel feel, but you do need to maintain it. Let's go through the process step by step. Step one is put your gloves on, get the circlip plies and remove the outer circlip. Just be careful because they do hold a lot of compressed energy and they can spring back at you. You can see I'll put up all the parts in order. Lay them out flat in the order they came from. There's about six parts. So here's step two, which is removing the end cap of the barbell. I like to maintain the barbell once every couple of weeks, seeing as it does stay outside, it's undercover, but it can oxidize a bit faster than other times when it's stored inside. Give it a bit of a clean every step in between. Step three is removing the inner circlip. You can see that this is what's actually holding the sleeve onto the barbell. Once it's removed, again, place it in order on the bench so you know which order it comes from. Step four is removing the first washer. And step five is to remove both the half washers. Step six is to remove the second washer, give it a clean and again, put it in line with the others. Step seven, now the sleeve should slide off the bar and you can see that on the end here's the brass bushing that I'll show the camera, yep, there it is. That's what actually makes contact with the barbell. So give it a good clean up with a rag, both ends. Step eight, now just give the actual bar a good wipe down, get rid of any oil or dirt or any residue that's trapped in there. There may be a bit of oxidization if the bar's kept outside, give it a good wipe down. And you'll see here's all the parts list in order from left to right of how I took it out from the bar. So you wanna obviously reverse the order to put the bar back together. You got the outer circlip, the end cap, the inner circlip, the first washer, the half washers and the second washer. Step nine is to lubricate the bar on the connection points. So I'll put a little bit of WD-40 on both points and a little bit of the two-in-one oil also. You can use whatever you want, but I just find that works best. WD-40 that I'm using is a silicon-based one, so it's good for waterproofing. So now you'll see for step 10, I slide the sleeve back onto the bar and give it a little bit of a spin to lubricate it. And the next steps is just to put everything back together in the reverse order. That's why it's important to lay everything out in line because there is a few parts. Some bars will have some a shim inside it as well between the washers. Not all bars have that but some do so it's good just to lay everything out so you know the order it goes back in. Take your time, make sure everything's nice and clean. 
and the bar will go back nice and smooth for you. Once you've got the sleeve back on, give it a bit of a spin. It should spin a bit more freely. You can see it is a little bit better. Make sure it's all nice and tight. There's nothing rattling or nothing grinding. Then just repeat for the other side of the bar. The next part of the maintenance is to just give the whole bar a bit of an oil and clean over. I've just got some of that two-in-one oil on the rag there and I'm just wiping the sleeves over, getting rid of any dirt or residue any oxidization that uh, appears on the sleeves it will get rid of and it will lubricate and prevent more rust. Then we go through the actual shaft of the bar and I'm using the nylon bristled brush here. You can use a wire brush but I find they are a bit more harsh on the bar. Give it a bit of a brush down, put the oil on and then brush it in nice and thoroughly. You want to take your time and really get the oil into all the knurling, get rid of all the bits of skin and if you're using chalk or dirt or rust, whatever's in there, do the whole bar, repeat the process the whole way along. And here's the finished product. You can see it is a lot cleaner, a lot darker and ready for its next lot of lifting. Whenever I clean the barbell, I like to give the bumper plates a quick clean over also. So I'll just go through that. You just use a soapy water, hot water, and give them a nice clean and a dry for each one of them. I like to keep my equipment clean and maintained. You spend a lot of money on this stuff and it pays to keep it in good order. And like I've said in the previous video, this stuff is kept outside undercover for now until the shed is um, filled up with the gym equipment. But I do like to keep my stuff looking good. I think you get the gist now on how to look after your barbell and plates so again guys thanks for watching the video if you want to leave a comment please do so and consider subscribing all the subscribers help thank you very much